check it out. While waiting for the last couple packs of sticker submissions, I thought it would be a fun time to actually go through all the stickers I've done for custom prints in the past well over a year or so. I started doing these again a little bit heavier, probably about two years ago now. And so we've got two years worth of custom prints, all designs. I saved basically one from each pack and I've been stacking them up. You can see some of the more recent stuff here. Got those hollow sets. That'll be a fun pack to get through. Actually got two bricks of those already. Plenty of thermals to go around, some little white three by fours, even some of those red and black runs that I just did the other week. So let's sit down and break into it. General understanding of what I was printing and when based on the colors and the styling. So that should be a good indication. Um, Serm, right on top. These were some fun ones. I pretty much started around October of two years ago. So hence probably a bunch of Halloween themes on those orange ones as the start and then uh, I was also doing these light blue ones. The light blue was a huge kind of interest of mine. I hadn't done light blue stickers before so I wanted to go after those and talking about the history here you can even see some of the misprinting there, some streaking coming out of the prints. I've since upgraded printers one or two times over so the newer stuff should even look cleaner. Oh, this one was sweet. Fossa. Dig that character a ton and the orange nice touch. On top of that, awesome. Got the Pacer Sive collab. This was a fun one. I actually had started storing all my prints off in a separate bag, anything that I touched. So maybe I'll feed those out as I go through. Crust, these ones were tight. Fiend with the huge throwy. Yeah, going to have a huge mix of styling and designs here. Um, some of my favorites, honestly. And uh, some of those you've actually seen were part of those uh, that original video where I kind of went through and was promoting the light blue print session. I uh, So a lot of these early ones you may have seen before. But we'll flip through kind of quickly. Hopefully get a nice range of different artists here. Havliato, Lost Boy, very nice. Got some stuff from Check in there, Big B. So I quickly, you know, ran through what I had for those blues and then, uh, then went after some other colors. So uh, blue and orange were the starting point, had fun with those. And then uh, I think the next couple colors were kind of those pinks and greens I was running after. So a lot of Halloween themes here as I suspected. Not sure if I'm gonna do any custom specialty runs for Halloween this year around, but we'll see. Got a little more time before we hit that timeline. Lots of wild stuff here, either from illustrations all the way down to sketch drawings, and then just kind of simple pattern style stuff like this. It's really wild to see what passes through my hands, and it's awesome to not only see that variety, but also be able to interact with all the artists, because it definitely comes from a variety of art backgrounds, and stickers bring it all kind of to a central point. These are wild. Kind of fun. Uh, theme going down in memory lane here with all the prints that uh, have still stuck in my memory. Got the Nace, Bell, and Throwy at the bottom there. Very nice. A lot of these I wasn't even cutting down too. You can see most of them are full 4x6 size. Some of those Throwies in both colors. Oh, and some more of those faces from Savage in both colors. But yeah, definitely... Um, Still do a little custom cutting as well here and there as it goes. This one's a much cleaner print, so you can see getting better a little bit here or there. Maybe got a little upgrade on the pit printing and the ink style. And we got a Scout and Sive collab there. Very nice, kind of got that, I don't know, uh, maybe almost like a cow spotted in the backdrop, some bubbles. Toss those off into the personal. Sweet little illustration and photo style there. And at this point, I literally haven't even done white stickers yet. I think those must have been the next kind of round. Uh, yeah, here are a couple. So I've stuck with the colored at first, trying to do something new as I had never printed on the colored thermals before really getting them out there. So it was a learning experience nonetheless, but fun and definitely some decent results altogether. These were some really sweet ones for Zombiar, X-O-M-B-I-A-R. Crazy, crazy digital designs there. Haven't heard from him since, so maybe he's still making art. I don't know what I'm gonna do about trying to tag nearly the couple hundred or, I don't know, maybe not, probably not a thousand, maybe just a couple hundred artists. But uh, maybe if you recognize your stuff and see it in the mix or you see someone's that you know, drop a comment down below. That might be, help me feed through these because I certainly am not gonna be able to go back and find everybody's uh, Instagrams. 
a nice little small square one. So this was cut down from a bigger size. Uh, I think this pack was probably next. We got the orange on top. We got three Zo. He was an early adopter and since has gotten tons of packs on top of that. So sweet little I don't know, Wolverine or gnarly animal design there. A green one. Garf with a couple Garfield designs. Got a spray can strolling down. Love those. Kazer coming in proper. He's gone through a ton of times. So you like the sticker submissions. You're going to see a bunch from him. We've got Botsky with a couple there. Some more illustrations here from Garf. These ones were sweet. You know, I always like the color combos when you get to do two or three of the same design on different colors. They all just kind of give you a, a nice set look. So those are fun. And I'm so glad I actually started saving one of each of these. I used to actually stick them all down in a black book, um, but I haven't done a sticker book in quite a while. So I figure I, you can always fall back on that, but at the time being, it's at least nice to, to save one of each. Uh, this is a really wild one from Sinner. Just really utilizes the, the contrast there. And we got Hello My Name Is Custom, little blank there. Some of these I don't even remember printing. That was one I was trying to print off. I think I was trying to make a blank sticker out of that, but kind of the the green fire was a playoff of Game of Thrones, um, but never really followed through with finishing that design out. That was just one test print. This one's pretty wild. Don't remember doing that one. Another one from Sinner, sick tag on this, just super bold. And still it's wild to see some of these pop up a couple years later. Um, people still have a few laying around, sticking them up here and there. Another one from Zoe. Much cleaner print than some of those original ones. Metaphor. He's come through a ton of times between sticker submissions and these customs, so lots to go around. Looks like I was even saving misprints over here. Maybe didn't have enough to go around to have extras to save for myself. Drew and Jonas. A couple anime styles there. Bunch of colors. Maybe you got a big mix set. I've kind of gone time to time where I've done and allowed people to do like one design and do 20 prints of each. You know, if I'm really trying to get a couple extra orders in there and want to make it uh, a little more accessible, I'll let people break things down really, really small. But uh, recently I've just been doing 100 prints per, per design. So that keeps me, at least the setup wise, a little, little smoother sailing. Doesn't take as much time to do all that, but it's fun to see when you do have those color sets again. Slabs. Actually, I think I designed this one for him. Yeah, we traded. He did a throwy for me, and I did one back for him. So that could even go into the side pile. Oh, these ones, these were crazy. They actually tile perfectly. So when I was printing them, there was kind of just this stream of fish coming out. I can definitely try my best to dig that video up. Look really wild stuff. Killer sticker. Awesome script tag as well. Big character. Yeah, thermals are great. They, the contrast is kind of the, the crutch here is when I design for mine, it's got to have a ton of black on there because the sticker itself, you know, it holds up well and it looks good. But when the sticker and the ink doesn't really stand off that color so great, if you just have a kind of small and skinny lines, like even here, the truck's kind of muted in the back, a little play on words, but you can see that throwy stands off much greater with those big black sections. So that's a... Uh, Kind of a design thing I always recommend to people if they ever have questions with it. Lots to go around. This one as well, I think I did a little bit of a video feature on that. So at one point in time I was making a video of, you know, the whole process of sticker printing and whatnot, but never followed through with the, the full product. So we'll see, uh, maybe there's enough footage from there that I can overlay it here. Here we got a bunch of collabs. We got plenty of those to fill packs. So we'll save one for good, but these gotta go out into the wild. There's no sense in me saving 20 of those. So now it's not quite chronologically, but we should definitely get into one of these hollow packs. These are by far the funnest stickers I've been printing recently. So yeah, the took me a while to get these prints really dialed in. You can see we've got some griminess over here. I mentioned that in the last, you know, first feature of these on the channel, um, but I've even got better, so we'll see. Yeah, here you can see the face one, pretty much a perfect print. So I've dialed it in, really happy with what I'm rocking now, and really think it's a great product for the price point. So awesome styling here. Just those dark griminess that lets you do almost the design in the hollow. 
still some of my favorites here. Bugzo looking so fresh. Just having that black backdrop and then having the design as what catches your eye, you know, really just makes makes for it. You know, not that the invert is bad in my opinion, but I think these just pop so much more. So definitely a huge suggestion there if you if you do like a negative look on your own design, it's it's worth trying out. And by all means, I'm I cater to that. I'll, I'll do half and half if you want, or even if you want you know, 10 prints of one flavor and 90 of another, I can make that happen. You know, it's, it's an easy interactive process here from my side of things. So I don't mind making sure that once again, the design drives really how the stickers look. And it's, it's definitely a guarantee. These little geometric stylings that happen on the hollows also are a super nice hit, super clean throwy with the kind of ripples coming out got the vortex and that guy's face and kind of maybe even like a maze style over there really sick stuff so can't say enough about the hollows well worth trying to make a design for them and uh, get it printed three dove looking good znk symbol tag there very crisp an extra shiny chopped you know what you can see the top and bottom off there just to fit it you know i always give that option some people like to stretch their design to fill the full, full area so you get the you know perfect border there others totally happy to crop it down so you don't kind of skew things got a nice pirate guy there robo with some more you know he said said earlier he was the fan of the three by fours here we at really happy with these ones the imaging it's a little harder on the hollows to get it kind of tailored in get the contrast looking right but all together it's worth it you know from my side i'd love to take the extra time to make sure everything looks great this might be one of my favorites i've reposted this a few times over on the side shell instagram page super clean and well utilized kind of design you got a little bit of everything here got some kind of half toning and styling up there got the super crisp characters and then you got that hard border to really set it apart slowly looking good oh and that was from doze by the way awesome stuff all around sensor with the clean execution key actually just saw a pack from sticker submission sneak through there so excited to see what hand drawn and other work you've sent juver he sent those around plenty seen a few in the art primo instagram feed as he has uh grs packing up packs and sending paint out he'll go through and juver roses seemingly always on there <laughs> cosmic got redo super clean characters really dig those a lot with the big drippy tag metaphor coming in another one of those lot throwies silent addicts musty glenn the frog really subtle execution here digging it the half tone coming through that as the uh hollow looks so sweet Really fun one from there. Zoe with a couple. Looking fresh. Props. Props again. Love this. Big black backdrop. Goes a long way. You've seen most of these actually from that hollow video. So won't have to spend a ton of time on this pack. K's looking fresh. Sensor and K's. Some more M techs. Yeah, definitely still some of my favorite stuff to print nonetheless. And I think I already touched most of these. Quick flip. Yeah, definitely. So, hollows. Looking proper, as always. Definitely a fun one. And actually, what my next print session has to be is catching up on hollow orders. I uh, just did a big restock on these. So, I've got a few orders in the queue. Um, but as always, you know, if you want to jump in on that, I'm sure I've got a little bit of space left over. So maybe shoot me a DM over on Instagram or uh, check the web shop if you want to get involved. Looks like we got kind of one other thermal set. I don't need to spend too much time on this one because I feel like it's rinse, wash, and repeat of all the other ones. But we'll do a quick flip through here. We got a gator, smooth gator on some of those. Cherry gang. Kind of same color scheme as the middle of those, more from Hostel. He actually just got a couple of these designs reprinted in uh, in one of the lighter bags. Maybe that guy over there is my newest one. But yeah, um, as always, you know, the support goes a long way. Very much appreciate literally these hundreds of artists that have come through and helped show me some love and help keep my art moving along, given that I can put a little money back into it from what uh, you know, I make while I sit there and laboriously print and count and package and ship all these 
to the, to the various corners of the world. Super clean RGB design from Hostel, as always. Some more of those. Test with the super clean, simple, well executed, well utilization of the borders. Gotta love that. Nice, nice. Love this character too. Lego, looking fresh. Ooh, this one was fun. Yeah, printed those on a couple. I think the orange is definitely my favorite here, but subtlety, you know, little different cropping of the design, which is interesting. You know, you don't see too many people not use the whole sticker, I should say, and, and that kind of forcing the perspective and the vantage to really jump to the center of that by having those huge black sections is a fun, fun little route to go. Very nice. Some big stuff here. Cause, looking fresh. He might have actually been in on the most recent one too. All right, and then recently, you know, I've been doing a ton of black and white stuff, so we'll see a, a big set of those here shortly. Tips, looking good. Oh, nice, forgot about this session. So before I was printing red ink, I did some splatter backdrops. So we got Paradox jumped in on that. One of those, I think last Halloween I ran those. Not as popular as I would have hoped, you know. I thought that was a cool initiative. I was making them because I was making some skull stuff, that big skull stencil project I did last Halloween. And uh, another one of those that, you know, I just started using my own supply because nobody else was using it. I ended up printing just a bunch of mine with all the extra stuff. So no complaints there. It made my sticker packs a little beefier and, and cooler, but uh, maybe just a little too eager for its time. I'll try again this year, maybe do, uh, do another red splatter session for, for everybody. Uh, that was a fun one for my side of things. So maybe I just got to do a little better promo to, to get the word out there. Really dig these. And you can see, you know, not nearly as many misprints here, but also a much cleaner application here. So from the start, you know, I've pretty much upgraded nearly everything on my setup from the ink I use, from the actual printer that I use, from the actual uh, print that I do, you know, everything all together, even the material. You know, I really source what I try to find as the best stuff um, and then keep it super fair for everybody. So. All together, you know, the product's slowly increasing. You know, the, the hollow print sets are, are definitely even that most recent ad that I've done, aside from multiple ink colors, it was a big step to get that involved. So, so that was fun, but I think well worth it. I'll be printing my own hollows and everyone else's for quite a while. Dom with the crazy color set there. Love that. Kaiser with the parental advisory. Um, but yeah, so slowly upgrading my system, uh, you know, still not doing, people ask if I can do full color prints and I don't know if I'll ever be able to justify the kind of the economics of that just cause you know, even the cheaper desktop printers that print vinyl and whatnot are thousands of dollars. And then that doesn't even take into account all the ink you need to use to, to make those, you know, more, uh, more robust. So I don't know if I'll ever get there as a single source place, but you know, occasionally I'll go seek those out myself, you know, go to another sticker service and get my full color ones or get some higher quality vinyls that, uh, you know, just take too long for me to make one after the other. I've got my decals and whatnot, but yeah, definitely no vinyl prints in the foreseeable future. It, you know, the, the time and investment and, you know, I don't, I don't nearly sell that many of my own stickers and, you know, it would just add way too much on the custom print side to actually, uh, you know, manage that on top of all the thermals. So I'll keep it as a wish in the future. And believe me, I'd love to do that if I could, but, uh, for the time being, not really in the cards to make all those those upgrades in that respect. So thermal upgrades, little vinyl hollow eggshell upgrades with single color stuff, a little more manageable for, for this scheme right now, but we'll see. Oh, these ones were fun from Meatball. Just, what well, we got 12 on there, crazy. Bunch to go around. Very, very nice. Here we got some of those white ones I was chatting about. So more recent prints, these were within weeks I made these ones. So they might be a little fresh. You may have seen a few pump out on Instagram. I've not been posting my story too heavily with all the custom print stuff. Taking a little break from that was going pretty crazy with those, you know, week after week, 
send in six or eight videos of the same uh, same kind of setup where I'm printing new uh, new designs, but same backdrop and setting all together. So took a little break from that, and I've been showing what I have off on screen right now. Um, but all together, you know, still still a fun session to to preview those every once in a while. Whoa, this one, one of my most favorite designs that recently came through, developed with the crazy illustration, got the characters in the backdrop, the eyeballs, the dripping nose, one of the best executions and best utilizations of that smaller 3x4 sticker. And that is another upgrade I did. Um, hard to get uh, the colored ones in alternate sizes, but the 3x4 in white is a great smaller size. Here's that doubled up one that Zerk had done. So he printed some on those and then he was gonna tile them all up together afterwards. Um, but yeah, those three by four is definitely my favorite size right now. Like I said earlier, perfect pocket jam, like a desk, just pastering and layering and wallpapering those. Uh, great little size there to make, make things happen. Gesso, looking fresh. Little Detroit, Mtex coming in again. Right on, that was a big pack right there. I'm surprised those all fit. That felt like two of the other ones. So we got two little sessions left. Let's do uh, these white three by fours. These are the eggshell three by fours. Oh, it looks like we got some hollows in there, but this one, RGB for the, the boys, hostel included. Got a nice space for a tag there. Musty with the halftone gradient in the back. And then you also got some of those red ones. So trust me, that red, black, and white session well worth jumping in on look how fresh these ones are eggshell material as well and look inks as good as you need for an eggshell no no complaints there very very fun to get those pumped out a little difficult to do the white um on the printer but it's worth worth the extra little effort that i have to go through to make that happen oh these ones are sick from jay really subtle gray in the backdrop and then just the character once again not not your average utilization. You know, most people would just stretch that character full, but really like the tasteful ex approach there. We got Owick, FFC, and Cesar on there in the middle. Kind of that double double up as well. FSR crew, Drew. A little sloppier on these, a little grimier. Some of the earlier ones I did. Uh, this is the newest set I did, so hopefully I can be proof in the pudding that the prints are getting better and better. Got a little side Bimo collab in the mix. Juver, love the crack effect. You know, not only eggshell cracks could complement this when it's out in the wild, but just looks so fresh with the hollow peeking through there. Venom Militia, these were fun as well. Really nice execution. Let's do, uh, split these out. It's another big set. And we can run through these quickly. Pick some of the highlights of my favorites. How about Clay came in on that red, black, and white combo. Big four by sixes as well. Wanted just a big gradient on the backdrop and then some blood splatters looking fresh. Ooh, huge order that came through uh, for Sonus, Sonas. Uh, got a couple hundred of each, so tons of stickers. This was a, a big print session last week. You know, it's crazy when I can fill up, you know, a large priority mailbox with uh, one order. It's very rare that someone comes through with all those, but he's going to be loaded for the foreseeable future. You know, a couple hundred of each of these designs will really go a long way. Nemo hit me up for some. He hit that throwy up, and then he actually commissioned me to do a, kind of the straight letter for him. So really happy with that. And then he wanted some of that yellow-red combo. So this is... A temptation nonetheless to do a full run of red and yellow that just the contrast there is crazy I'm thinking I'm gonna throw some of my, my banana designs on there and do that looks like we got some blank truck designs tips and arrow this was a fun one nice combo there with RC art and tips some more for BMO ask got the nice big black and white there for zoot Big character for the cartoonist, fresh. Some familiar faces, I hope, you've seen throughout here. Oh yeah, this one, crazy illustration on there. Very nice. Yeah, so uh, mentioned it at the beginning, but I'll mention it again. If you 
have an artist that you like or you, you are featured here, drop a comment with your Instagram or heck, even if you want to, you know, trade with people, drop your Instagram down below so people can hit you up in the DMs, get a trade organized. Uh, you know, no better place than to socialize in the comment section and say, uh, show that you're active, show that people can hit you up. Maybe some other sensor ones were fresh. Very nice three by four there. Love this one too. Two by six, rare utilization, but always happy to see when people come through with those and I can, I can make those happen. These ones are crazy too, love those. But yeah, like I said, always, you know, drop your Instagram, drop your tag down in the comment section, light that up and make sure people know that you're, you're ready to go and ready to trade because it's, uh, it's always hard to find people and people are always coming to me asking, how do I find people to trade? It's get yourself out there post some things, post a couple comments, and I'm sure people will be coming your way. Fiend also jumped in that red and black combo. This original blood splatter effect. Look at that. Come on. If you could order a custom like that, why wouldn't you? Uh, I think people are sleeping on these, honestly. Bad posture. Looking grimy and gritty. Very nice. Some Aaron makes art there. Another Owick hostile combo. No face, no case. Very nice, very nice. Leak, big time fire. All right, that looks like a good wrap up for all the thermals. Let's do one last hit on the hollows. Check out the most recent set there. Face did a 50-50 split. Very nice choice there. Both bold and lovely. BMO, Ask coming in. RCR hitting the negative. Followed a very strong suggestion from myself maybe, or just had the idea himself. Crazy cop killer ones. <laughs> Little uh, mature content from those. You missed the spot. These ones are funny. Man who got those decided to uh, put those up in a little bit of angst to, to get him where it was. Kafka looking so fresh. Come on, character, nice bold black backdrop, make the design pop with the hollow. That definitely stands out in many occasion. Live, love this tarot card too. Kafka, artist to watch out for. Definitely go check him out. Got the EKU crew doing some Louis V blanks. Got the John John looking fresh. Aside from others, also looking nice. These were all, I don't forget how many sessions I've done. Maybe three hollow sessions at this point. So these were the most recent one. Pigman, another one that was smart in jumping in on the red. Gave him a bunch of variety here. I think the majority of them were in this style and this style. So little subtlety on the kind of sweatshirt design. Nice, just pop of color there. And then that gradient in the backdrop was also a fun touch. And then did some solo reds and solo blacks there. That's a nice taste. I don't know that there's any difference between those two. Another fun one with that throwy in red and then the black on top. This was a messed up part of the order on his. So I threw those in as a bonus, but was happy to, you know, test myself and uh, challenge myself to make make that two color set. It's uh, definitely not as easy as the final product might look. So crazy, wow, that is a stack. I don't know, I think we're probably close to a couple hundred artists in there. Um, all together, I think the only thing I might've forgotten to go through was the few of my own designs that I've been stowing away. So definitely not the best at doing this ahead of time. So I'm sure here we got some clay collabs, some one-offs. So I'm sure I missed a few designs throughout the year, but definitely fun to catch on these. Well, I've kind of got it in my mind, been stowing them away lately. Owick K's Sive, so fresh. Got the uh, little off print misprint there, but figured I'd keep around. Got the duplicate Sive Bimo collab. Got just the black and white version. These were kind of my first pass on using the red ink, so I was getting a little familiar with it. So did a solid set there where you got the throwies all kind of partitioned, making sure my registration was looking good. Just a big throwy there, part of that trifecta series, throwy part of the trifecta as well. Here's that skull stencil that I ended up taking the majority of the uh, blood splatter blanks and printing on, then also save some for the orange. Here are just some random ones. Little lime green spray paint backdrop. These were a little while back. Got the five and six layer vinyls here. Decal central, old pixel design, but printed some new ones apparently. Got another one of those, got some of the orbits. These ones, like I mentioned, sometimes I go out of the 
out of house to get some stickers done. You know, here we got seven or eight colors amongst the whole design. So that not really practical on thermals. Nonetheless, can only do blacks and solid colors there, but definitely for the quality, you know, at the end of the day, I can put some money down, get some really good stuff and have these as a pocket jam for, for years to come. And then one last double up vinyl. So mountains of stickers, obviously big shout out goes to everybody that's come my way, helped make, you know, this possible puts money back into the, the sticker ecosystem in many a ways. So big thank you for everybody that supports that. Huge shout out to everybody in the comment section. If you're interested in trading, definitely go check those out. And uh, I'll do my best, maybe add a few people into the description or leave it as the Wild West and let the comments kind of handle that if you want to follow up with some of these artists. Uh, like I've mentioned a few times, definitely got plenty of sticker sessions in the works coming up. So got some hollows coming, got some more of those red, black, and white sessions going, got eggshells, got hollow side shells, got plenty of thermals in the books. So even if you need some blanks in these same colors, I got packs to make that happen. So definitely go check out the shop if you're interested in supporting. That goes super long way. And, uh, you know, maybe keep an eye out for sticker submissions coming shortly. I think I'm going to start doing those packs maybe later this week. So I'll be able to work on that video, get it sent out your way in the, in the near future. It's going to do it for me, guys. Drop a like. Peace.